Welcome! In this video, we'll show you how to use the STARS Easy Import tool. This tool uses artificial intelligence and optical character recognition to scan your transcript and automatically fill in your courses, grades, GPA, and more, helping you complete your academic record even faster. It is important that you still review and confirm that all imported data matches your transcript or grade report when using the Easy Import tool. You are responsible for making sure all information submitted to colleges is accurate. If you need help at any point, support resources are linked in the video description. Before you begin, make sure you have added the high school associated with the transcript you're uploading. To do so, go to the Enter Schools tab. Add your high school if you haven't already, then carefully review each field. For the graduation month and year, use your expected or actual graduation date. For the dates of attendance, use the month and year you started at the school as the from date and the month you left, your expected graduation date, or your actual graduation date as the to date. If you attended more than one high school, see the link in the video description for tips on how to enter your attendance dates correctly. If you're unsure of the grade scale your school uses, refer to your transcript for guidance. For example, if your transcript shows grades as numbers like 92 or 87, select number grades. If it uses letters like A, B, or C, select letter grades. Once everything is correct, click Enter Coursework to proceed. On the Enter Coursework page, click the Upload Transcript button. A pop-up will appear with an important reminder that although the automatic transcript reader is generally accurate, you may need to make manual corrections or adjustments once the import is complete. By clicking Continue, you acknowledge that some information may need to be reviewed and updated before submitting. Next, you'll be asked to select the type of document you're uploading, either a transcript or grade report. A PDF copy of your transcript is preferred, even if it has a watermark. Clear, high-quality PDFs will yield the best results. In case a PDF copy of your transcript isn't available, you can upload a clear screenshot of your coursework in PNG or JPEG format and select Grade Report for the document type. Please try to include all of your information in the screenshot if you choose to upload one. Instructions on how to take a screenshot are available in the video description. To upload your file, you can drag and drop it into the Upload area, browse your computer to select the file, or click Upload from Phone to scan a QR code and upload an existing image or take a new photo. Once uploaded, you'll see a green check mark. To change the file, click Remove. When ready, click Continue. You'll now see a preview of the document. If the file is sideways or upside down, use the Rotate button to adjust it. Make sure the document is in the correct position so the system can extract your courses accurately. Once it looks correct, click Continue. STARS will now begin scanning your document. Please don't refresh or go back while this happens. While you wait, helpful tips on reviewing your imported data will appear on the screen. Please take a moment to read through these. Once the scan is complete, if any conflicts are found between your uploaded document and the previously entered data, such as graduation year, a window will prompt you to resolve them. Otherwise, you'll be taken to a page where you can review the information extracted from your transcript, including courses, grades, credits, GPA, class rank, and other academic details. Your courses will be organized by grade level by default. You can use the drop-down menu to switch to subject area if that matches your transcript better. Carefully review each course and its associated fields to ensure everything matches your transcript or grade report. The columns displayed may vary depending on the document you uploaded. If needed, click into a field to make edits. Make sure each course is listed under the correct grade level, 9th grade courses under 9th grade, 10th grade under 10th, and so on. To move a course to a different grade level, select the course, click Move to another grade, and choose the correct grade. You can also use Add Course to enter a missing course or select and delete a course if needed. If your 12th grade courses are still in progress, make sure the grades are entered as in progress and that the credits reflect the amount you expect to earn once the course is completed. Do not leave the credits field as zero unless the course does not award credit. If a senior year course isn't listed on your transcript yet, such as a course you're scheduled to take, you'll still need to add it to your STARS record. You can do this manually now using the Add Course button or add it later after the import is complete. On the GPA and Rank tab, check that your GPA and class rank are entered correctly and in the appropriate fields, including your unweighted GPA, weighted GPA, unweighted rank, and weighted rank. Be sure the GPA shown is your cumulative GPA, not your GPA for a single academic year, which is sometimes called your annual or year-specific GPA. If your school does not report GPA in one or both formats, be sure to check the box labeled My School Does Not Report in the corresponding section. Click Next tab to see a summary of your grades. Double check that everything listed on your transcript appears here. When you're ready, scroll down and click Import to Stars. 
Confirm you've reviewed your grades by checking the box, then click Continue and Submit Import. You'll receive a confirmation once the process is complete. Click Continue to return to the coursework section. Back on the Enter Coursework page, scroll down to see all of your imported courses. Take one final moment to verify each field, including the subject area, the general course title, the exact course title, the course level, the course length, the grade, and the number of credits or units. Once reviewed, you can continue entering any additional required information for your STARS record. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your applications.